this uh, Iron Texas here with a uh, new video, something a little different. Um, I know y'all used to hearing me saying that in these last couple of videos, me saying it's going to be something a little different. But like I said, I'm trying to branch out and do different things for y'all just to give y'all an idea of um, what kind of stuff is out there for the anglers. If you're like me who work really hard for your money and don't have money just to throw around and spend on anything and everything that these guys are out there telling you to buy I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do some reviews on some of these products and let you know is it in my opinion is it worth getting or if it's better off that you didn't get it and you know when I do these reviews I don't get nothing from it I'm not affiliated with Mystery Tackle Box or any of these other guys I'm just doing it out of my own concern because I've seen people get hoodwinked into buying stuff and you know a lot of these guys are sponsored by these products that they're trying to sell sell you so I'm gonna give you an honest review straight up you know you might not like my answer but it's gonna be an honest answer every time or an honest review every time I'm not gonna sit here and just try to sell you anything cuz I know I don't like spending my money on just anything that isn't gonna work for me so let's get into this uh, unboxing as we should say I'm open this up here and uh, this will be my first time looking in here so this will be your first time so here we go all right um, here we got a little coupon that says um, get your first mystery tackle box for $4.99 I wish I would have had that when I ordered this I didn't have this and I didn't find this I paid the regular $15 which kind of sucks and I don't understand why they would put that in there for me seeing as I already paid my 15 bucks but I don't know if anybody wants that let me know in the comment section and um, if you want to get one and you want to get it for five bucks let me know I'll give you that code next is a uh, sticker mystery tackle box sticker um, depending on how this goes I might slap this on my kayak or probably not I also got these decals if you want one of these let me know in the description and uh, I might send you one the real deal or the real reason but that's just something I came up with it's a decal by the way and then you have um, this here that says about your tackle box um, back here you have a finesse TRD then you have uh, Z-Man then you have another Z-Man uh, finesse shrooms one inch ounce two pack and then you have some dude wipes and then you have some uh, spider wire uh, Seville action first lipless seeker and then you have some bio spawn bio crawl so let's go ahead and look at these lures and these and this stuff there's a book here braided line I guess it's just talking about everything that's in here you got the Seville you have the braided line um, talking about panfish, uh, spring into crappie season, stocking redfish on flats. Patrick Seville, I guess they're talking about the guy who made that lipless crank. Speaking of that, let's uh, go ahead and look at that one first. It has some really nice, it has really nice rattle on it. Really loud. Um, me personally, this is actually a little bigger than stuff I usually fish. Uh, this is three inches three quarters of ounce sinking five foot to seven foot I guess that's what you're supposed to fish it in and we have the uh, lipless seeker smoking purple pearl I like the rattles rattles are really loud um, that's a good thing right, let's get this open. It's, a, it's a nice looking lure uh, I can already see that when you fish this, it's going to sit nose first. Um, I don't know if you can see here, but it has a, uh, I guess that's a weight, a uh, metal weighted system. Okay. Um, I don't know if y'all be able to see through there, but it has, it's see-through. And it has five BBs in the, in the belly and two up here in the head area. It has some really nice hooks on it. The hooks look nice. They're really stop looking really solid looking so I don't think you'd be able to break those off pretty easy they don't look cheap but what I'm saying is like I can already see this thing's gonna sit nose first in the water 
uh, whenever you just let it sink down see that I guess that weight it has in the front uh, I guess you can pop it or whatever then whatever you know it just it's gonna sit nose down you can see it, it it does it automatically I'm just I'm not even it's doing that on its own I'm just there you go so um, it's a little big for my taste um, has a flat top here um, it looks really nice it's a nice uh, color on it but like I said it's kind of big for me personally but I'll fish it and I'll give it a shot and see if uh, anybody hits on it which I'm sure they probably will but um, it's a little big but you know we'll give it a shot it has some really nice rattles the 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 noise on it's really nice so that's a plus so maybe maybe it'll do well we'll see next up here we have the uh spider wire stealth braid um this says 30 pound moss green um i don't use um braid personally i usually fish uh floral or mono um, I don't use braid. It's, uh, it's quite a hassle for me personally. I don't fish heavy cover and you know I'm not pulling bass out of muck. Uh, most of the places I fish it's open water maybe some grass here and there but it's um, nothing real serious no heavy cover that I'm trying to pull bass out of but, but who knows maybe if I do go to somewhere where I might need this I'll have it. Um, but it looks really nice says here new and improved stealth 10% stronger floral polymer coating lasts longer fast and quiet through the guides so I'm guessing it's designed it's a new design so it won't mess up your uh, guides on your uh, rod so next up we have the uh, Z-Man finesse shrooms um, says here that these are for Ned rig jig heads designed specifically for last tech baits so I'm guessing that's this other product they put in here um, I had I got an email from um, mystery tackle box where they're talking about the the net rig um, never heard about it this will be my first time fishing it and um, we'll see if it does what it's supposed to from what they said in the email and then next up you have a finesse TRD green pumpkin and this is the uh, elastic lure they're talking about it's designed specifically for so I, that's why they sent these together I guess you're supposed to rig them up together and this looks like it's just a uh, like a yum dinger just cut down to a smaller size um, looks really nice it feels pretty good um, I guess let's see it's a green pumpkin it's a nice color it has a nice uh, texture to it it looks pretty decent um, one end you have like the ribs and then on the other end it's like uh, some like it's kind of bumpy but um like I said it looks like a uh, chopped down version of a uh, yum dinger or the uh, yeah we got my matsu so I'll rig one of these up here in a few minutes. I read the email, saw how it was supposed to be rigged. So I'll rig one of those up here in a few minutes for y'all so I can see how the Ned rig is supposed to be fished. And uh, so that's a Midwest type of fishing. I've never heard of it until I got that email. Next up, we got the uh, BioCraw by uh, BioSpawn. It says this genetically modified artificial life form has attributes that simulate predators stimulate predators to strike uh, paddle tail antenna with erratic wobble claws that move even at a slow speeds reimagined hook slide for added weedless protection then on the back here it has your uh, options rigging options Texas rig jig trailer weighted swim bait hook shaky head Carolina rig and as a top water and uh, I don't see what color this is I don't see a color on here Share photos of your bio spawn baits and catches. Okay. Uh, I've heard a lot of people talking about these lures lately. 
Um, me personally, I like to throw the Zoom Speed Crawl, but I'm willing to give this a shot. This color here is uh, it's a blue belly with a green top, so not sure what color you would call this. But um, you can see here that it's um, connected with these little, I guess when you rig it, you rip them. So you get an in individual um, swimming action on the crawls and the antenna there. But uh, it's pretty solid. Looks like it uh, it would be able to take a couple hits from bass before it uh, got tore up. Um, the claws are real, really thin, really thin until you get to the tip here. And then it gets kind of thick again. So I can just imagine what that looks like in the water. Um, the colors are decent. It looks pretty decent. Um, I've never used them. This will be my first time fishing them. So we'll see what it does. This time of year, I like throwing these type of creature baits. Um, I love throwing crawfish. The bass just hit on them. So I don't know if these are going to work um, as well as the other lures I use. But we'll give them a shot since we got them here in the mystery tackle box and it's uh that's a four pack so it looked really good though so we'll see and last but not least is something they call dude wipes and honestly this is probably something i would i wouldn't use or i wouldn't buy myself um it's flushable vitamin e aloe i guess it's supposed to be like baby wipes or something like that or hand sanitizer wipes I don't know what it is but um as it is, like I said it's something I probably wouldn't use when I go fishing I usually have a rag or something I wipe it on or I wipe my hands on on my shirt so all in all um, I guess if you have the money uh, like I said it's a $15 subscription per month you can end it whenever you want or you can they have other subscriptions where you pay for the year or something like that but I did the month to month and um, is it something I'll continue doing um, maybe maybe not I don't know uh, I'll probably do one more just to see if they send something that's worth getting uh, a lot of this stuff in this box I really wouldn't use like this um, Ned rig wouldn't do it uh, dude wipes wouldn't buy uh, spider wire uh, braid I'm not a braid man so I mean, the only ones I probably will use is going to be this uh, Seville and the Biospawn. But, you know, being who I am, I'm going to give them all a shot and I'll give you all an honest review on how they work. But um, let me go ahead and open this, this up here. This is, I guess, what's taking the country by storm this year, the Ned Rig. Uh, look at that. It's uh, pretty small flat head you know has a little piece of metal there that's supposed to hold your lure in place I like the way that sits hmm, sits up right but let's see here you go little mushroom head rig and this little lure or the plugs in pretty easy I'm just going to run it up through here and pop it on through there and guess what they're saying this is how you're supposed to fish it just like that the action on there is pretty nice I guess when it falls and it's sitting on this flat end here that little piece is going <laughs> to sit there and I can see why a, a bass would, would hit on that and this this plastic is actually really nice it feels pretty nice it's real soft real easy to put that hook through there and look at the action on there I probably rigged this wrong but I mean it still looks pretty nice I can see a bass hitting on that so I mean I'd give it a shot I'll give it a try I'll fish it and since I got it rigged up I'll probably end up throwing this tomorrow or something to see how it goes so, all right so with that being said guys, um, is the mystery tackle box worth getting? Um, like I said, if you have the money, if you had the $15 laying around and you want to get it, 
I mean, they send you a lot of products and a lot of the stuff you probably wouldn't buy on your own anyways. So it's pretty good to get it in a um, in a um, box like this. You know, it's all sample size. So you're not really just spending the money on something and then never using it. Um, so, like I said, I'll probably uh, get one more tackle box just, just to see if they send something that's worth me keeping the subscription. If not, then I'll probably end up canceling the subscription because um like i said out of this whole box there's probably like two things i'd, I'd actually really use so but i'm really impressed with this to build i do like this so i'd probably go fish this right now but um like i said man if uh if you got the money go ahead and get it if not you know you know sometimes it's you know it's not for everybody um, hopefully this helped you decide if you want to get it or not. Um, if you have any more questions, feel free to leave me a, a comment. You know, I reply back to uh, all the comments that are left on my videos. And yeah, so hopefully this helped you out, helped you make a decision. And with that being said, guys, um, appreciate y'all watching the video. Thanks for everything, all the support y'all have shown me throughout these uh, last couple of months. Um, got a lot of stuff coming up, so y'all stay tuned. Gonna be doing some kayaking, gonna be doing some traveling. Um, got a got a trip planned to head up north and do some fishing with a friend of mine, and uh, I'll explain all that later. So, like I said, guys, thanks for watching the video, and hopefully this helped you make a decision on the uh, mystery tackle box. So, like I said, if you got any questions, feel free to hit me up. Um, I'm really active on Instagram and Twitter. That's probably going to be your best bet to get a hold of me because I always have my phone. And for some reason, when you leave a message on my YouTube channel, it takes a while for the email to come through. But if you leave a comment or something on Twitter, it comes directly to my phone pretty quick. So I get to it really quick. So, yeah, if you want to get in touch with me, go ahead and leave a message. And uh, let me know what y'all thought of the video. Did it help you? Did it not help you? If y'all want to see more of these types of videos... Or if there's a product you want me to do a review on, go ahead and uh, leave it down in the comment section. And if we have them here in my area, I'll go ahead and buy one, test it out for y'all, and let y'all know is it worth getting. All right? Well, thanks for watching the video, guys, and uh, I'll catch up with y'all next time. Tight lines.